Hello, I'm Mr. Purcell, and today we're going to be using a calculator to solve the linear systems of equations. In particular, I'm going to solve this system of equations, and I'm going to start off by writing the, the matrix, the alternate matrix for this system of equations. Now I'm going to do that right here. Negative 15, negative 2, 1, negative 55. So negative 15, negative 2, 1, negative 55. Second equation 20, 1, 0, 79. And the third one. Negative 10, negative 2, 1, and negative 35. Now we're going to be using, or I'm going to use a TI-83 plus calculator to punch this in. Now there's some Casio calculators that punch it in, uh, get you the answer a lot faster maybe than this. That's what I'm going to be using. It's a TI-83+. Plus. And it's important that you have a calculator that you can punch this stuff into. So when you're doing the word problems, you can set them up. And then instead of going through all the messy manipulation, just punch it in. That's what I want you to be doing for the, all the word problems that you'll be seeing in this assignment. You set them up and then just punch it into your calculator. I don't mean for you to go through and try to do all this manipulation by hand. So I'm going to turn on my calculator and to enter this matrix I'm going to access the matrix feature. To do that I say second matrix and I need to input a matrix. To do that we're going to edit it. So I'm going to go over and say edit and I'll just use matrix uh, this first one, matrix A. So either hit 1 or enter. And the first thing you do is put the size of the matrix. Remember how we state the sizes. You go rows and then columns. This one has three horizontal rows. Three, enter. And four vertical columns. Now we go through patching in these numbers. Negative 15, enter. Negative 2, enter. 1, enter. Negative 55, enter. 21079. 20, enter. 1, enter. 0, enter, 79, enter, let's see, negative 10, enter, negative 2, enter, 1, enter, negative 35, enter. Now once you've entered the matrix, you're going to have to quit the editing of the matrix. So you say second, quit. And now we want to do some math with the uh, matrix. So you go math, so move right arrow to math, and then scan down until you find CRREF. That stands for Reduced Row Echelon Form. RREF. Can y'all see that? It's at letter B on this calculator. So the reduced row echelon form gets you the ones down the diagonals and the zeros everywhere else. So R R E F enter. Now I need that matrix A. So second matrix. Now I'm just entering the name matrix A. Hit enter, and there it is. The solutions, can y'all see that? X 
is, ne is 4, y is negative 1, z is 3. So the solution, if you look at this PDF right here, it's just a homework problem. The way you punch in your answer with my math lab, you enter x, y, and z there, so you put a 4, a negative 1, 3. I suggest you practice using your calculator until you get very familiar with doing this, okay? Maybe re-watch the video if necessary to get those sequence of strokes uh, down. You're going to be using the matrix feature on your calculator, okay? And that's going to help a whole lot because when we're doing the word problems, that's one that once we set them up, I'll just be punching in to get the answer. And that's what I want you to do also. Okay? So thank you for watching and practice with your calculator. Bye-bye. Good luck.